I'm Christine Helms, Associate Professor in the Physics Department at the University of Richmond, and I'm gonna tell you how to sink the perfect putt. A perfect putt has three main components. First, the swing, and then the contact between the putter and the ball, and lastly, the contact between the green and the ball. When a golfer approaches a putt, there's two main elements to their swing. The first is that between their shoulders down to the bottom of the club forms a nice pendulum. And so when the golfer pulls back and gravity then pulls the club down. The second is that you actually put some force with your arms into the swing as well. So if I always hit the ball with the same force, then I can control how far I send the ball by pulling my club up higher. And so by controlling one, maybe the force you use exert with your arms, then I can get more consistency to my swing by only changing the other element. For the contact between the ball and the putter, you want the ball to come off with a certain velocity heading towards the hole. Too slow, obviously you don't make it to the hole. Too fast, and you may skip over the hole and not go in. But then you also have to consider how is the ball gonna interact with the green and curve or not curve, speed up or slow down on its approach to the hole. Science can tell us a lot about how to make the perfect putt, but a golfer in the field really isn't going to be thinking numbers of how resistive is my green, how heavy is my club. A golfer's gonna do what they've trained to do over and over again in order to make a putt. And that's how you sink the perfect putt.